Hi guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth. I am back for your March 2015 health focus uh, monthly tarot horoscope. This is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Sagittarius. I finally got to the end of the zodiac. It's taken me so long because these videos are very in depth and um, I'm posting so many links. So thank you so much for being really, really patient. Uh, I really appreciate it. You're the you know, last but not least, okay, Sagittarius. Um, so I'm using um, an herbal tarot deck. This is, um, it's called the Herbal Tarot by Michael Tira and Candace Canton. Um, you can see I've done a lot of research um, regarding each herb or um, supplement, natural remedy. This is all natural stuff, guys. Okay. So this is really meant to empower you to take control of your health. Um, everything you can buy on Amazon pretty much. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> it's not just about physical health. It's also emotional health and mental health as well. So, um, I feel like you guys will find this um, or these videos quite interesting in comparison to my wild and crazy erotic sex and relationships uh, readings as well as uh, my regular um, readings. And I am going to be back mid-March for, um, you know, in about a week, I'd say, with my regular videos. Okay, so my general readings, I'm sure everybody um, will be happy once I get back to that. But I wanted to do these because I'm not a one note type person. Um, you know, I'm a double Aquarius, so I do things in my own way. And I like branching out. So I don't want you guys to get too used to me doing the same old because it's it's not going to be that way. I, I have lots of different ideas. And I feel like doing these health videos will help a lot of people. And that's, that's my goal. Uh, you know, that's, that's, it's kind of been my goal since the beginning. Um, and if you want me to do, you know, a private reading for you, I'm happy to use whatever deck you like. Um, if you like the original, uh, Shadowscapes deck, my main deck, I consider it my main deck. Um, then I'm happy to use that deck and it doesn't have to be about health or, you know, it can be about whatever you want it to be career, romance, whatever. Um, okay, and I will just disclaim that these recommendations are not meant to treat, prevent, or cure any diseases, and I am also saying that I am not a doctor, so this is just for you to, um, you know, food for thought, I always say, for, for your health and, um, just a knowledge and understanding. Okay, so, Sagittarius, what have we got? <clears throat> Interesting. We got a lot of fire, uh, yellow. We got a lot of yellow noticing here, this spread. Uh, and a lot of fire too, which, you know, you're Sagittarius, so. Uh, <clears throat> so the first card right out of the gate is Temperance. And the Temperance card is, I focus on the medicine with these cards, so is Echinacea. And you see this girl, she's putting her foot into this water here. And it's the need to kind of kind of calm down, okay? It says anger and temper issues going on beginning of March. Um, needing to overcome tests of strength and endurance. Um, needing to be the bigger person or the light in tough family situations. Um, perhaps you've got a challenging family situation. Um, or just a challenging family with a lot of conflict and fighting. <clears throat> this is overcoming abuse, um, domestic violence, bitterness and resentment and jealousy from people, um, from in friendships and in family, from family. Okay. Um, this is to limit the exposure to angry people or negative influences. Okay. Limit. So, you know, if you have a difficult relationship with someone in your family, don't call them every day. No. No, because you're just, you're hurting yourself every time you do that. Even though you're supposed to be a light for them, 
um, it's, it is abusive and um, for you to keep putting yourself back in the situation without setting clear boundaries or having boundaries for yourself doesn't actually help doesn't actually help because then they'll drain you completely and you won't be able, you will be good for nothing. You know, you'll be good for just that moment um, where you initially talk to them. But then as soon as after the explosion happens, it's not healthy for you and it's not good for them. Um, echinacea is, <clears throat> um, I recommend echinacea tincture um, because it's really great um, for you know, building up the immune system. It says it acts kind of like an antibiotic. Um, it's and I, I will go so far as to say, you guys probably, if you are sick mid March, um, even beginning of March, and maybe you've had a difficult time getting over it, and you refuse to take antibiotics, which I definitely agree with, and I recommend not taking it um, unless it's like a near death situation. Um, which doesn't really exist, but you know, in, in some extreme cases it does. Um, but if you're just like got your, you know, you got the cold and the flu and it's lasted a while, you might want to take echinacea tincture with olive leaf. Okay. Now olive leaf capsules, um, my naturopath actually recommended this to me because I had been sick for like, I think it was like two or three weeks and I had taken like, everything under the sun. I had gone through my supplements cabinet and I was like, what am I not taking? Like, why am I not getting better? Part of the problem was that I wasn't resting enough. You know, I can, I would think I was in school at the time and I continued to go to school and I continued to walk around and I continued to do like all kinds of crazy things. And that's you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius will they don't really put things on hold. They don't put, they don't pu push the pause button unless they're like really, really, really ill. And it's important for you to slow down and get better if you know, you're sick, <clears throat> but the olive leaf will help you. Olive leaf, um, it just, it acts almost as quickly as an antibiotic would, I feel. Um, so anyways, my naturopath had given it to me and as soon as I took it and she told me to take two capsules, three times a day. Within like two days, I was better. So I really believe strongly in this stuff. Um, and I added it in here on this card, even though it's not part of the card, because if you're in need of an antibiotic, but you don't want to take an antibiotic, this, this is a great um, alternative. So I would say echinacea tincture um, with the olive leaf. Um, for those of you who are not sick, um, you know, those things are great to have in your medicine cabinet. Okay. Some of you just need to kind of do things that kind of calm, calm me down. Maybe take a, take a bath, um, uh, maybe go for a swim. I was recommending this to Scorpio, um, <clears throat> find a pool, like a YMCA near you and, um, uh, go for a swim. You kind of need to cool off, you know, cool out. Sagittarius are particularly because they're fire they are usually really, really like generally they run hot, you know, and their tempers run very, very hot. Okay. And so you need to do things where you cool down. Um, I feel like exercising is important for you. Um, really, really important. Um, because it's the, it, yes, you're, you're heating up, but then you're also cooling down and it helps you burn off your excess fire energy. Um, now, what's crossing you, to me, this is like the same girl, okay? So female Sagittarius, very important that you swim, do you take baths, you know, or even like a cold shower. Um, guys and girls for the echinacea and olive leaf if you're sick. Um, guys and girls, you know, working on your temper. Um, guys and girls working on dealing with a challenging family and trying to set your boundaries. But what's crossing you to me, okay, so this is like the same Sagittarius girl, okay? See, they look almost identical, okay? So um, the, what's crossing you is the Empress, okay? Um, Sagittarius, this is, the Sagittarius females, you may be getting pregnant, okay? This is pregnancy. This is a person full of new ideas. This is the beginning of a new relationship as well. If you're not getting pregnant, this is the start of something new. Um, this is what's crossing you. So you are going to meet someone, I feel. Um, 
This is also, the medicine of this is Dong Kuei. Dong Kuei is great for menstrual regularity and fertility. Um, you need to increase circulation again with exercise. Okay, so it's funny I was talking about that. Um, you also need to increase your warmth and compassion for others. Your heart has kind of frozen over because, and you need to have love in your life that's going to cause the thaw. Okay, so the love is going to really help. Um, if you've been hurt before in the past or if you've kind of frozen over, call it frozen over, in the past, um, this is because of past, you know, pain and, and suffering in relationships, this is um, really good for you. Uh, the love, the new love that's coming in is going to be really good for you. Okay, so... Um, so those are Sagittarius ladies, the guys as well for the olive leaf and the echinacea. The foundation is, you know, you've got two guys that, to me, they look very similar. Very, very similar, although to me their race is a little bit different. This is someone who may be, I feel like maybe like a mix. Mexican, could be black, I feel like Hispanic in some way. Um, and this is someone who is Caucasian. Okay, but then these these are these are very um there's a lot of fire in both males, okay? So in the Sagittarius guys, in the distant past, you maybe you had a bad cough. Um, or you have a lung problem. Um, this is, can be from cr chronic bronchi bronchitis or a cold. Um, the medicine is wild cherry bark. And I did find a wild cherry bark uh, cough medicine online. And um, I will post that for you. Um, <clears throat> wild cherry bark also helps control asthma. For those of you who have asthma or in the recent distant past, you know, you're struggling with that. Um, uh, um, <coughs> excuse me. The wild cherry bark can be used also as a tea or a tincture. This is a man who defends truth at all costs, um, a good guy who's going to risk all for the sake of honesty and righteousness. This is a very brave person. I feel like Sagittarius, you know, you know, my brother's a Sagittarius and he like <sighs> says things almost like it's truthful because it's truthful, like too much. Because, like, he doesn't realize how the truth can be brutal in some cases. And he's not thinking about how it affects others when maybe he is speaking the truth, but he's not thinking about the context, you know? Um, you don't always have to, this is what I'm getting, you don't always have to speak the truth um, to be truthful, okay? You can... Withhold, you can, not withhold information, but you can, like, I'm getting not say something. You can filter, okay, this is what I'm trying to say. You can filter what you say. Sometimes people think, well, they have to speak the truth in every situation. They have to be so truthful, brutally honest. Well, in not every situation calls for speaking everything that comes to mind or speaking all the truths that you know. Because sometimes those truths can hurt others. So you need to filter, Sagittarius. You need to work on your filter. That's the point, okay? Filter out some things that maybe you would say. Hold it for the proper time, okay? Just because you're, you're holding it doesn't mean you're being dishonest. It just means you're holding it. You're filtering out something that maybe will be better at a better later time uh, or in a different conversation or in a different context or a better place. Sagittarius can be quite awkward because they say they put their foot in the mouth, okay? Uh, by speaking the truth sometimes and the foot goes in the mouth because it's the wrong time to say it, Okay. And, it's, and it can be hurtful to people again. So in the recent past, you have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is Chamomile. And this is a great card. This is Achievement of Good Health, 
uh, through much hard work, regular exercise and intake of herbs, and a balanced diet with a rare cold um, here and there. A peaceful attitude, a person with good vibes, quick wit, um, a loving, healthy relationship where two people truly love each other. Um, let's see. It says, okay, so chamomile, it, chamomile tea It's usually what I recommend for relax, just for relaxing. It's good for cold, good for cramps. It's high in calcium. It is a diuretic, so it will make you pee a lot. So just be careful how much you take. Um... And this is for guys and for girls. So I'm going to post the link to the chamomile. I like buying chamomile in bulk. It's always good to have on hand. Um, so this shows me, like, you know, in the distant past, maybe you had a cough or you're struggling with some bronchitis issues, or, you know, lung stuff. Uh, and then you got better. And um, it, I feel like some of you do have a lingering cough, okay? I feel like some of you do. I hear it in my head, okay? So you do have, like, a lingering cough. Or something that causes you to cough. Maybe it's like a dry cough. Could be allergies. Um, you may want to get tested. Um, I I am gonna post a link to the Chestel honey as well because I feel like the Chestel honey is excellent for someone who's an allergy and it's good for dry cough. So I'm gonna post that, even though it's not it's not part of this. I'm gonna I am gonna do that for you. Um, so in the recently you were experiencing good health. Um, some of you anyways, not all of you, some of you, okay? Um, what's crowning you, Sagittarius, men, okay? Again, we have, to me, this is a lot of fire. This is the Six of Wands. This is a fiery, fiery dude. Um, this is someone who has a weak heart, um, needs the Hawthorne Berry Tincture and Capsules. It's good for circulation, it's good for angina, it's good for blood pressure, it's good for congestive heart failure, it's good for cardiac arrhythmia, it strengthens the heart, it's good also for strengthening blood vessels, heart, the heart muscle wall, and blood clots. This is about reconsidering a relationship that is not working. I feel like... I feel like there's been some struggle in your relationship. This has caused pressure on your heart. Um, Sagittarius ladies, I feel like the stuff that you're going through is completely different than what the guys are going through. So Sagittarius guys, I feel like maybe you have some lung issues, maybe you have some heart stuff going on. Um, it's really split in this re reading. Not, it's not always this way. Um, and some of the other signs, it was more com combined. Everybody was kind of going through similar things. This is more split. So I feel like you guys, Sagittarius guys, some of you have heart problems. Some of you have been going through it, you know, getting into very stressful, uh, I feel like arguing with people. Or this is actually to consider going back into a relationship, potentially, which wasn't good to begin with. Um, which you know, but maybe you want to get back for, for the sex or you want to get back because you just don't want to be alone. I feel like you're just not, you're not really thinking it through. That's, that's what I'm getting from that card. But the Hawthorne tincture is freaking amazing. Okay. I can't even tell you how cool it is. Um, and as you guys probably know, um, I'm going to have some here. I really like, you've probably seen on my links to Hawaii Farm, um, this is the brand that, I, that I've that i been really, really into. Amazing quality. You get, you get a lot, okay? You get a lot more than what you might buy at the store. And um, it comes obviously with directions and... It's just, I don't know, I really love this company. The company is just so, the, the tinctures are so pure. They're so well made. I'm just, I can't even tell you. The quality is amazing. So if I post the links to other tinctures, it's because maybe this company doesn't have that tincture or because, um, you know, maybe it's cheaper or, you know, you know, I, I, I am posting links to different different tinctures, but that's the one, that's the company that I do really, really like because I feel like the quality is so good. So if you can afford it and you don't, if you see me posting with a different company for a tincture, um, you know, do your own browsing. If you 
Google, not Google, but if you put in the search on the Amazon, Hawaii farm, okay, farm is spelled P-H-A-R-M, um, then you're, you can always look it up that way. Um, okay, so what you don't see coming is another male card. So guys, Sag male Sagittarius, you really are dominating this spread here. Way to dominate. Uh, wink. Um, <clears throat> so we got men's health issues, the prostate issues, um, and the medicine here is saw palmetto, um, and the, the capsules is what's recommended. It does, saw palmetto does promote fertility in both me, men and women, okay? Um, but in my opinion, the thing about women is I feel like this herb should be taken with caution because it does block some hormones. And so I think with women, it's more important to focus on the ovaries, focus on the uterus, focus on strengthening those ovaries, uterus, focus on repairing the adrenal glands, focus on repairing the thyroid rather than taking something that's going to block some hormones, it'd be so much better to strengthen in different ways. That's how I see it. So I'm still going to say, male Sagittarius, um, this is for you who, um, who's maybe having some prostate issues. Uh, or just men's health in general. Men's health, I should say. Um, this is someone who has a, it says, someone who is a wonderful, generous man who is loving and kind, um, spiritually grounded, who has many interests and hobbies, would make a great husband, is dedicated to pleasing his wife, is faithful, hardworking, and is a great businessman. Um, this is an adventurous spirit, um, and it says, to boldly go and to go boldly. That's this guy, okay, where no one has gone, okay? He likes to travel, um, and travel will go smoothly and safely, okay? So March is a good time for Sagittarius, I feel like, to travel. Now, you know, I don't know what all the astrologers are telling you. Um, I am telling you that this is what I see as far as travel, men's health issue, as far as this is the health spread, is that it, the, the main point on this card. I do know that we have a Uranus-Pluto showdown in just a couple of days. So... I would wait till after that was over. That's what I would do. If you have to travel, travel. But if if I was you, I would wait until after that. And I would not travel on the full moon this month. No. No. Because it's gonna be kind of a it's gonna be kind of a wonky. And I don't like using that word because I get once I get started on using that word, I continue to go. It's gonna be a wonky full moon, okay? So, um, I would avoid traveling on between now and the 12th and then 13th through the 19th are good. 20th, no, cause that's the full moon. 21st to the end of month, you're good. Actually, I would probably avoid the 20, the 19th, the 20th and the 21st because even though the moon is technically full, it's still mostly full the day before and the day after. So, three days, the 19th, the 20th, and the 21st. Let me just double check. Yeah, um, that's what I would say, uh, if you can. But this guy likes to travel, so there's no holding back a Sagittarius. The Sagittarius is half horse, and when a horse wants to go, it's rearing to go, nothing can stop it, basically. Um, so... <laughs> So here we go. In the position of emotions, you're, you've got the star card. And this is staying up too late, okay? The best medicine for you emotionally is to get more sleep. It's better for your emotional health for you when you get more sleep. Um, it says staying up too late at night, you need more sleep. Needing time off and to take time to meditate, okay? Doing guided meditation would be helpful. Getting a sleep machine would be helpful. Getting a massage um, or taking time to be alone to heal would be helpful. Um, finding inner peace. You need to find some inner peace. I feel like <sighs> Sagittarius, you're very like, 
grizzly. That's like you're 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 like a bear. That's like a grizzly. You're grizzly right now. You're bristly. You know, you're all your prickles. You know, you got a lot of frustration, and you're just like just that. You're like shh. You know, that's how you are. Okay, it sounds like I looked really scary right then, but <laughs> um, you know, you're like Aries in this way. When Aries gets irritated, irritable, it's very difficult for Aries to calm down. Okay. Um, I just feel like you're very Sagittarius, you know, females in, in later March and later, I think around the full moon, you are going to be like really, I feel like really irritable. You need to, don't go out on the full moon. Okay. Do not stay in, go to bed early, get some sleep. That would be my suggestion for you. Um, it does say it's okay to be alone sometimes healing others. Um, you may be someone who heals others. Um, this is a woman who works with the angels as well. Um, you may be a spiritual healer, um, doing something similar to what I do. So I feel like that, um, you know, you have a gift, a little bit with magic. I'm getting like, a, you know, a little bit magical, um, Again, you're very much in touch with the elements, the water, the land, the air. You're, you know, you definitely have medium, medium skills. Um, and okay, so the skull cap is the medicine, but I also talked about, you know, needing sleep, good for your emotions. Skull cap is also a tincture that you can take, Sagittarius females, okay, um, which I will post. Um, skull cap is also a really interesting herb, and I did, I think, post a link to the skull cap uh, in one of my other videos, which I should do again, if you can read more about it, and um, it's really cool. Okay, so what's coming in from the outside here is the Page of Pentacles. This is someone who's a young girl. This is a uh, Sagittarius females. Young girl who is studious, um, inquisitive. She's out to seek her fortune. She's striving for success. Um, she loves flowers. She loves being outside. Um, the caution is not to spend too much time on computers or inside an office. This is someone who needs to go out. It's interesting that I was talking about how on the full moon you should stay in. Because I feel like some of you are going like, hell no. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go party. I'm going to go here, there, wherever. Um, listen. You can do whatever you want, Sagittarius. Like I said, nothing can hold you back. But this is a crazy full moon. I would not recommend it. That's just my personal opinion, okay? You probably have, like, you just have, like, a natural drive to go, go, go. And it's telling me, emotionally, though, you need to take time for yourself. You need to take alone time. So if you're one of those people that's always around other people, who's always out and about, take a day off. It's not going to kill you to take a day off. Um, the medicine of this card is the iris tincture. And I love irises. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Especially purple irises. Um, the other name for iris is blue flag, interestingly enough. And I didn't know that before I found this deck. So I, I learned a lot when I was doing this. Um, the iris is really great for skin issues, for liver issues. It regulates menstruation, acne, eczema, psoriasis. It's good for treats an enlarged thyroid. So um, now, those of you who have some thyroid issues, you want to double check. Um, you know, obviously, whatever you're taking right now, you want to double check with the herbs that I'm put, posting on there to see if they're compatible, okay? That's all I'm going to say. It's, it's up to you. Now, um, now, okay, so your attitude is the chariot, okay? Um, now, this is guys. This is a guy. So, but I also feel like this is going to be applicable to, to women as well. This is about winning, okay? This is winning the battle. This is, um, Running a fever, maybe getting sick or having a fever, um, or having high and low mood swings, being hot and cold. Um, determination is necessary. Triumph will be yours over all obstacles. Having a strong will to succeed. 
you know, it's interesting the chariots pulled in my mind, you know, the chariot here is pulled by <laughs> Cyprus. <laughs> and I don't know, I think uh, Cyprus is very difficult to find online to buy. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can post it for you. Um, Cyprus actually regulates the whole body. Um, there are things that have Cyprus in it. I'm going to see if I can post something also that may have something in it as well. Um, it's great. It harmonizes the liver, the spleen, and the pancreas. It's, it's the best herb for fever. So it's interesting to me when I looked up online, I couldn't find, I don't think I could find it. Um, there wasn't a lot of options for it. So um, I'm going to see what I can do there. When it comes to, okay, so having this attitude, you have the winning attitude, basically. Your attitude is, is you're going to win no matter what. And you're very determined. Um, and normally, I was like saying, the chariot is, is, you know, is carried by horses, in my mind. Um, or by angels, if you're in heaven, of course. Um, but it's, it's usually swift success. So maybe you, you want your success to be fast. You know, you want quick success. Um, and you may have high and low moods because it may not be happening as fast or when you want it to be. Um, so, you know, you're driven, you're driven to succeed. That's awesome. But at the same time, be a little bit patient. Be a little bit like everything happens in divine timing. Be a little bit like, okay, so it doesn't happen today. It'll happen tomorrow, you know? It'll happen when it's supposed to happen, when it needs to happen, and when your soul needs it to happen for your soul's growth. Um, and remember, success. we are already a success just by being here. Just by signing up and reincarnating our soul, we are success. So... You don't have to prove anything to anybody. Sagittarius, you may feel like you have to prove yourself to people. And you don't. No. You're already a success. You're determined to win. You're determined. You're driven to succeed. Okay? But you're already a success. So you don't have to think, when I succeed, I'm going to feel this way. Or when I succeed, everybody's going to look at me different. Or when I succeed... Da, 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 da. No, you're already a success. So you don't have to worry about proving yourself. Um, and, okay, so the last card is um, the Gentian. Um, I don't think I'm pronouncing it right. This is the Three of Pentacles here. The Gentian is, or I should say, this card is about having food allergies, okay? Maybe allergic to some foods. It'd be good to have, have some allergy testing. Um... You may be suffering also from chronic fatigue. So I feel like this is exhaustion from working too much. Um, you know, I, I'm getting kind of a picture here. I feel like you're the kind of person that is either always on the computer or always on their phone or always kind of working on something. <sighs> you're pushing for success and you're going to be successful. But the problem is, is that you may burn out at some point. Um, and even if you're successful, it's not going to matter. It's like that Mary Tyler Moore um, episode. And I used to watch, okay, I can't even tell you how many episodes of Mary Tyler Moore I've watched. But anyways, she, it's the one with the Teddy Awards where she gets sick, okay? And she's only wearing one slipper to the awards show, you know? And she has a cold. And, <laughs> you know... <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be up there accepting the award, you know, with a tissue, you know, with a runny nose and all that. You know, it's like me and my other videos, you know, my February videos where I was sick, you know. So you don't want to, you don't want to push yourself too far, Sagittarius. You need to know your limits. You need to say, okay, I've worked 8 to 10 hours today. More than 10 hours is too much, you know. More than eight is too much, you know? Um, if you're still, I feel like some of you, if you're staying up all night and you're working way, way, way too much. Okay, so gentian is used as digestive bitters. 
it actually increases hydrochloric acid to aid digestion. It's also going to help with food allergies because food allergies really stem from the stomach, not being able to digest your food as well as you want. Um, it's to develop one's talents more. Um, going back to school or additional taking additional classes or schooling. This is finishing school. Um, if you're kind of unsure about whether you should go back, you should go back. Um, do not give up. Um, this is a gardener, a lover of all plants and animals. This is, um, I think we got this for Aquarius, to want to live on a ranch or a farm. You know, just after, like, like something that, well, that's what I want. So, um, this is also planting a garden. It, it uh, increases wealth and prosperity. This is a pentacles card also. So it goes back to... Um, taking the gentian for digestion would be helpful, and I will post a link for it. Um, and it goes back to planting things from seed. When I talk to people all the time about feng shuiing, you know, their, their apartment, um, you know, for, you know, having a lot more plants. If you already have plants, you know, try to plant things from seed, watch them grow. You can donate them, give them away to friends and family, um, that's really good. Cultivating, even if it's like a little garden, you know, um, that brings in positive financial energy. Okay, so um, that's all. I think that's a good place to stop. So I think um, that's all for now. And I will be back again in mid-March doing again my regular deck. And I wish you guys all the best. Okay, I send you big hugs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care.